towards James again, who goes up and wins the uh, tries to win the header, but Grimes got there first. Launched back forward towards Kabamba. Houlihan collects it on the chase and feeds it at the feet of Donaldson now. Donaldson trying to give West Weston a taste of his own medicine here. He gives it back to Houlihan. Inside for Featherston, who turns right. Then he skips really skillfully back inside. Low ball in towards James, who lays it off. One set for Kabamba. Might come back to Featherston here, who drives it across goal, and it's a deflected shot, which goes wide of the far post. He hit it reasonably well, Nicky Featherston, but it took a nick off the defender and goes wide of the target. So it's a corner on the left-hand side for Pools. Featherston's gone across to take it. He's got Donaldson there with him if he wants to take it short. The isolated uh, Mark Kitchen got him free a couple of times on uh, Tuesday night. This time Featherston dangles it in towards James who takes it on the chest and lays it back for Kitching on the edge of the area. Might fall for Featherston as well. Might fall for Mafuta and his shot now is blocked wide of the target. Pools starting to apply some pressure. Featherston it does take it short for Donaldson and plays it in the edge of the box and Kitchen's in all kinds of space and he's evaded the challenge and finds Houlihan whose shot is saved by the goalkeeper wonderfully worked corner and the goalkeeper has to make a smart save down to his left King in the centre of the Ebbsfleet defence plays it into the feet of Albie Morgan now long ball for McPetita cleared away by Pools once again it's a throw in further up the right touchline though and Wilson wants to take it quickly here fires it into the edge of the box for Ugwu clever flick Umaro might have a chance here and it's a good save with his feet from Ben Killip it was clever play by Ebbsfleet to release Umaro it's a free kick to Pools inside left channel about 10 or 15 yards inside the Ebbsfleet half of the field Featherston lines this one up Reigns and Kerr both in the middle Featherston fizzes it in with plenty of pace Kerr is the target, oh it glances off his head and goes behind, he couldn't get anything enough or enough on it should I say and uh, the free kick from Featherston was a good one and it's gone back to the goalkeeper Palmer he rolls it out this time for Grimes on the left inside is King Petit has gone really wide, the right centre back. Instead, it goes through the middle, and then Albie Morgan does lay it off for Petit on the right hand side. His ball slipped into the feet of Umara now. Umara trying to turn around Fraser Kerr. Morgan digs out a long ball forward. Wilson, the fullback, has gone high. Kitchen's gone back with him, but the header clear only as far as Petit, who f puts it into the box. Houlihan gets it clear. Kitchen able to take a touch on the edge of the area before delivering a ball downfield and it might fall for Luke James here and suddenly there's a bit of a chance for Luke James to run at the Ebbsfleet defence here the red shirts are getting back Luke James trying to find the angle and he stings the side netting with a shot he suddenly was one on one with his defender there Luke James and he did well to fashion an angle to let fly but he couldn't squeeze it in front of the post and it's gone wide and into the side netting And that'll suit Pools as well if Ebbsfleet do come out a little bit more because they've got that uh, ability to hit teams on the counter-attack like they did so effectively uh, the other night. Morgan, deep cross in towards the back post. The header down though by Weston is easily claimed by Killip. And Killip drop kicks it early. Looking for Kabamba who's pulled to the ground there. Referee was a long way from the scene and didn't give anything. It's gone all the way through for Palmer. Kabamba didn't really seem to be appealing for it himself in all honesty down the line for Weston Donaldson tries to nick it and he does plays it at the feet of Mafuta now Mafuta through for Kabamba and Mafuta continues his run back inside now for Houlihan who looks out to the left can't see anything so tries to drive and he's dragged it wide it's gone off the defender though <coughs> and it's a corner again and now Ebbsfleet can come forward again and it's Ugwu who's trying to turn and he's got away from Fraser Kerr this time and he comes in towards the edge of the box here now he's got Morgan to his oh brilliant play by Fraser Kerr excellent to recover from 
losing the first ball and then Mafuda was on the scene to pick up the pieces after an excellent tackle from the pool centre back now Houlihan trying to slip it forward for Kabamba who's on the right side of the box James is in the middle if Kabamba can find him Kabamba he's inside the area onto his left foot oh he's put it across goal and wide that's half a chance you know he's done really well to fashion an angle on his left foot there but he couldn't put it across goal into the net and Pools get the opening goal it's whipped into the area but it's gone loose at the edge of the box and it's clipped clear Killip puts it back forward towards Kabamba Grimes goes over the top to try and win it but it falls loose for Featherston Featherston lovely ball for Houlihan who steps away chance for Houlihan and it's in Gavin Houlihan it might have taken a deflection he might have scuffed it it doesn't matter because Gavin Houlihan has scored for the second game in succession it's five for the season for the Irishman and Pools lead at Ebbsfleet by a goal to nil with 32 minutes on the clock lovely football by Pearls once again on the edge of the box Houlihan cleverly jinked into space away from the defender he might have got a bit of luck with the finish but nobody cares Pearls have the opening goal and it's Houlihan again who's having a wonderful season in front of goal Charlie Keane he says Houlihan is the National League in Easter here's Featherston now his ball inside is intercepted but Houlihan quickly wins it back but Ebbsfleet have worked it clear and suddenly now Morgan clips the ball over the top and there's a chance here for Umara to run down the left no real support at the moment but Ugu and Morgan are trying to get at the box Umara tries to do it all himself and it falls for Morgan oh and he stings a shot just wide decent effort from the midfield man on loan from Charlton back in the side this afternoon and almost on the score sheet there a firm strike from the edge of the box As he watches on to see what his side can sculpt from this. Featherston puts one into the middle and it's all the way through and just wide. It's not a far away from that front that back post there. Goalkeeper didn't appear to move very quickly. Dave Challoner makes a note of something. Houlihan lets Mafuta take over. Now Donaldson. Oh, brilliant from Donaldson. Little back heel, cheeky, and does the trick and releases Kioso right hand side. James makes the run to the right of uh, the Pills wing back. James takes up the ball now. Down the line for Kioso again. James goes into the box. Kioso tries to find him. It said it's gone at the feet of Kabamba. Now James, right corner of the 18 yard box, trying to find the angle for a cross. He does well to get away from one defender. What he's cross like? It looks pretty decent. And the header in. It's 2 0. And it's the man again. Gavin Houlihan doubles up for the afternoon. The Irishman's having great fun. He spins away to celebrate and pulls a 2 0 up. And Gavin Houlihan has done all the damage. 42 minutes gone. Ebbsfleet United 0. Pulls 2. was cleared in the end and Ugwu takes up possession on the halfway line he's run into trouble though in the shape of Mark Kitchen swept downfield there and Reigns does well mops up gives it to Donaldson who knows that Weston is on his shoulder so instead of going forward he oh there's a problem here Umara has run into Michael Reigns and I don't know what the referee's seen here but he's calling over Josh Umara and Michael Reigns is in agony on the turf I didn't see what happened there the players were running across past me and I think that uh, Umara might be in trouble here. And it's a red card for Josh Umara. Ebb's fleet are down to 10 men, but more importantly, a pops for Pools. Michael Reigns is down injured as well. And it's uh, Featherston who will whip it into the middle. Featherston actually leaves it for Kitching and Kitching lifts it in deep headed clear only as far as Houlihan he hooks it high back into the penalty area Reigns heads it on Kabamba trying to get there Featherston on the volley on the left side of the box oh it's saved by the goalkeeper Kabamba will pick it up it's turned round the post good save by the goalkeeper
on the ball is Peter Chioso. Reigns, who was involved in that tangle with Josh Umara, which led to the red card. Nobody uh, around us seemed to see anything too malicious, but uh, certainly the referee was adamant and there didn't seem to be too many protests. Pools working their way forward here. Kioso up from right back puts the ball at the box. It's cleared away. It might come back to Kioso. It does. He slips it forward and it'll find Mafuta in the box. He puts the ball back into the edge of the area. Donaldson keeps it alive for James. Good save. Hulahan. Oh, what a chance for a hat trick and he's put it over. Oh, well, within 60 seconds of the restart, Gavin Hulahan should surely have been celebrating his hat trick. But he's put the ball over the bar. It was the easiest chance of the three, I would imagine. Palmer wants to take the goal kick quickly and he feeds it into the feet of the skipper King. Ball headed away by Houlihan though and he gets it back on the right hand side and he works it down the right for Donaldson now. Donaldson comes in field on his left foot, he's got Mafuta with him, tries to slip it forward into Kabamba, back to Mafuta on the edge of the box, he shoots just over. Pools looking the more likely again. I think Donaldson might just uh, whip this one in himself, will he? Featherston still there, maybe with the short option. Kioso is the target, actually. He's come out to the right-hand side, and Kioso down the line again for Donaldson. Bit of space for Donaldson. Oh, it's a lovely ball inside the box for Featherston. Chance for three! Good save! The goalkeeper sprawls away to his right and denies Nicky Featherston what would have been a richly deserved goal. He's been superb this afternoon. Now Mafuta. Mafuta into the feet of James, who lays it off for Kerr. Kerr looks forward, then goes back to Reigns. Oh, Featherston, just as we're praising him, he's fouled over we'll there, and the referee has got a decision to make here. I think it'll be a yellow card for Nicky Featherston. Well, some of the Ebbsfleet players are suggesting that it was a red card opportunity there, but Nicky Featherston was a bit sluggish in possession, and he had to tug the player back to stop him going through on goal, and uh, there is a case that you could say uh, it could be a yellow card, but uh, it could be a red card, sorry. So it's a right-wing corner for Ebbsfleet, who are just having a little bit of a rally here. Pools have to hold firm, because if it goes 2-1, Suddenly the game changes, and the ball in the far post, there is a chance, oh, brilliant defending. I don't know who it was, was it Fraser Kerr at the, no, it wasn't. It was Mark Kitchen who volleyed the ball clear, just as the Ebbsfleet man was drawing the trigger there to fire a shot on goal at the far post. And it's another left-wing corner, and this feels like a key period in this game for both of these sides. It's 2-0 to Pools, but if Ebbsfleet can get the next goal, even with 10 men, you never know. Kitchen did enough to put the ball behind. It's another corner. A right wing set piece this time. Pearl's holding on a little bit now. Weston will whip this one in from the right. Whipped in with quality. Oh, the header over from Obelai. He met it firmly enough. But... Uh, his header goes over the bar. Palmer, right footed forward. Hulahan gets to the bouncing ball on the halfway line. Obelai hooks it away from trouble. Grimes heads it on its way too and Adeloy now slips the ball in behind there's a chance here for Weston Kioso can't get there and Weston gets one back and Ebbsfleet had been threatening that in fairness and they've got themselves a goal here and on 72 minutes Miles Weston pulls one back for Ebbsfleet another free kick for Ebbsfleet to pump into the box Dave Challoner will be absolutely furious if Ebbsfleet get out of this with anything 
because his side have been completely dominant until probably the last 15 minutes. Here's a ball into the box and it's headed across. Goal and wide. It's a goal kick to Pools. But the way they're putting the ball in the box, it's a bit of a lottery. Anything could happen. Pools need to stand firm here. On the right hand side. And uh, Pools have got to stay switched on here now. Oh, to good delivery and it's gone in and Epsfleet have levelled things up it's 2-2 and Pools will be kicking themselves because they've thrown it away it's gone in direct I think from Weston's free kick and with nine minutes left on the clock Pools have thrown away a two goal lead here Donaldson inside for Featherston. Featherston across to Mafuta. Mafuta keeps it moving. Left hand side for Kitchen. Maybe a chance to cross. Kitchen crosses into the box, but it's cleared away. Obelai was behind it. Kerr will collect it on the halfway line. Turns inside and feeds Featherston. Featherston across to the right hand side for Kioso now. Midway through the four minutes of stoppage time as Kerr plays it left for Kitching. Back to Kerr again. Kerr looking for the run of James over the top. It's a lovely run as well, and James plays it back inside. Chance for Mafuta to win it! It's blocked! He's seeing handball, it might still ricochet for Kennedy! Off the line! Oh, what a chance for Jason Kennedy to win it in stoppage time! Mafuta's challenge was blocked, it ricocheted back up in the air, and Kennedy's shot is clean off the line. A corner comes in from the right-hand side then. Reigns couldn't get there. Mafuta on the edge of the box. Gives it left for Toure. Toure back on his right foot. He drills it across. It's blocked behind. And it's another corner. <laughs> Featherston with the corner. Can he find the right delivery here? Plenty of movement in the middle. It's headed clear by the defender. Here's Donaldson though. Right-hand side will put it back into the box. Decent delivery in there. King with a flying header clear and Weston helps it on its way. Kitching on the halfway line has to get there first under pressure from Adeloy. And Adeloy, that's a lunging challenge. And it's a free kick to Pools. And maybe one more opportunity to put the ball in the box, but it will be just one more. Injury time almost up. This ball, if it gets cleared by Ebbsfleet, will signal the end of this game. Killip's ball in, he's not even going to allow it to land. It's full time and it's finished 2-2 and Ebbsfleet have come back to claim a share of the spoils and Dave Challoner will be absolutely furious I'm sure by that because his side were 2-0 up and coasting against a 10-men outfit who looked completely devoid of ideas and then suddenly Pools afforded Ebbsfleet a route back into the game and the home side took it with both hands.